everyone, welcome back to another instructional video in a Deutz Far tractor. I am currently sitting in the cab of a new Deutz Far 8280 tractor, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to work the hydraulic remotes. The hydraulic remotes, or as they're referred to in the operator's manual, the hydraulic distributors, there's several different ways you can run them in this tractor, and I'm going to show you how that's done. First off, as I talked about in other videos, everything in this tractor is color coded, so anything that is in blue has to do with the hydraulics. First off, we need to turn our hydraulic distributors on by pressing and holding this button. When I turn the hydraulic distributors or remotes on, they will also light up in the center console here. And we can also go over to our eye monitor and I can hit the hydraulic button here. And this shows us our remotes. We can run these hydraulic remotes three different ways. We can run a manual, or what they call a direct mode. We can run a continuous flow toggle mode, or we can run a kickout mode, often referred to as a time detent. So to change between the modes, I'm gonna show you right now. There's actually two different ways to change them. We can do it either on the eye monitor, or there's a couple buttons here on the sidearm console I can press. I'm gonna show you the sidearm console method first. It's real simple. On your sidearm console, raise up the armrest pad here. We have two buttons. So if I press this button here, press and hold it, you're gonna see the dash change right here. Let's say I want to adjust number one. So I got that. So right now, if I move this back and forth, this will actually take me, if I go all the way back, it'll take me into the direct mode. And if I keep pushing forward, I can set my time for my time detent, or I can go all the way forward to toggle or continuous flow, then hit this button to save it. To manually adjust our flow without the eye monitor, we can press and hold this button here, and we will see our screen change there. Then I can move my lever forward or backward to adjust my flow. If I pull down on the lever, it decreases my flow, and if I press up, it increases my flow. Or I can come over here, and let's say I want to change number one, press and hold number one. Okay, so I can change the flow here. Right now it's set at 75%, so I can turn that up or down. Let's say I want to turn the flow down a little bit. We can press and hold that. And let's say we want to turn it to half so I can go 50%. And right now, flow is at 50% on this side. And I can do the same here. Or we could just hit the plus and minus button. Like this. And hit save. To change between the modes, right now this is currently in toggle. If I want to go direct or manual, press and hold that, that'll take me in direct. What that'll do is if I pull back, that'll raise my implement or push forward and that will lower my implement or I can go clear forward into the float position. Okay, if I want to go into the time detent mode or the kickout mode, just press and hold here. So I can set my timer. So let's say we want to take it down to. All right. So I'm going to set this for 10 seconds. All right, so I got that set for 10 seconds at 50% flow. Now we can just X out of here. So now, when I move my remote, let's say I want to raise my implement, I just hit that one time, and that will actually activate and show right there for 10 seconds. Or we can go in here and just set it this way for 10 seconds as well. So that's set on 10 seconds. You can see right there. So now, if I just flip this lever, it will pump oil for 10 seconds. You can see there, here, it's also showing there. And after 10 seconds, that will kick out. Now, 
it went back to neutral automatically. So when we're done with that remote, I just hit the X and we can change this. You can see number two is set for eight seconds. Number three is in the direct mode manual. The other thing we can do on this tractor is we can change this. So I can go into here and we can actually move these remotes around. So let's say I had something hooked up on number one and I decide I wanna run that, say over here. So we could actually go in, that is brown, I could actually switch those two around if I wanted to. Now I'm not going to, but we do have the ability to do that. So we actually have one, two, three, four, five, and six different hydraulic remotes here on the tractor. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of that one and go back. The other thing we can do on these tractors is we can actually run a remote or a distributor from outside the tractor back here on the fender switch with these two buttons. Now we can pick whichever remote we want by going inside the tractor and I'll show you how that's done. So if you look here, remote number three has an A on it. So number three has been assigned to the rear fender switch back here. Now if I wanted to change that, I can just go over to the eye monitor here and let's say I want to move that to number one. Press and hold number one, and then I can just go down here and I can assign number one to the fender switch. So if we come look over here now, you can see number one has been assigned to the fender switch. Now if I want to go back to three, we'll just go over here again. Let me X out a number one. We'll go to number three. I'll assign it and you can see we're back on number three so now if I want to run this from outside the tractor or if I push both these together it'll actually go in the float All the tractors ordered in with the TTV transmissions also have Power Beyond hydraulics on the back. So let's take a look at that. Here's a look at our quick couplers for our Power Beyond hydraulics. So we got our pressure right here. Now these couplers can be changed if your implement has a different setup here. Here is our load sense coupler right here. And then we have two returns to tank here. We have a large one and a smaller one here. Also, if you was not using the Power Beyond, you could use one of these as a return if you was running something on a remote here and needed a return line to tank. These tractors also have couplers for hydraulic trailer brakes. On tractors with a front PTO and three point, we also have a set of remote couplers up here. And we also have buttons to activate that so we could actually assign this so we could run those couplers up here hooking and unhooking if that's what we desired to do. The other thing we can do is we can go in here and we could actually lock out a remote. So I can turn all the remotes off and on here or we could just lock out certain remotes if we wanted to. So right there it says locked. I'm not going to leave it like that so I'll just go back and press that again. And now it's back to neutral. So once I'm done here, I can X out of there. And then if I just wanna go back to operating the tractor, I can go here and back to my screen.